What's going on people? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the $10 million studio. Here we are again. By now everyone knows I got the Elgato 4000. It's the $4,000 webcam from Elgato. It's a new one. Some people say it's expensive. Like the quality here is what we're, you know, it's pretty pretty nice, right? That you guys tell me if it's worth it or not. I can't return it. I'm outside of the returning window, so you guys tell me. Anyway, uh, yeah, welcome back. Today's a little different. We're not doing gaming today. We're doing something else. We're doing Reddit slash Chattopia. If you guys don't know what this is, basically it's people who are put in positions where you might feel self-conscious, but the people do the opposite. They feel really confident. Someone who you think looks maybe a little different and they should be worried about the way they look and they 100% do the opposite and they feel super confident. These are chats, right? This is a chat. So we're going to be looking at those. You guys get it. You guys didn't know about this chat? Topia, what the heck have you been doing? Come on, can we check this out? We cannot, we cannot check this out. Um, okay. This woman right here is going to do the Jack Sparrow run until she finds Jack Sparrow. So she must be at Disneyland. Holy smoke, she's stretching and everything. She's ready. Check it out. Now, would anyone else here feel comfortable doing this anywhere, including Disneyland? She finds him. Let's do this. Ooh, they're pretty good. I'm believing both of them. Mostly. Actually, I think he's outdoing her. He's doing it better. All right, so the question you're supposed to ask yourself, like, would you feel comfortable running around anywhere? In Disneyland, you know, your superstore, like Walmart. Would you do this? No. And the point is she's doing it. She's recording herself. She's posting it to the internet. She doesn't care. She's a chat. This is pretty chat. Alter chat right there. Good for her. Why is Jack Sparrow so good? I don't know what it is. He's a good character. Ah. There's a guy in my town that runs around dressed like Waluigi. He doesn't do it for the publicity or social media. He just loves Waluigi. Normal guy. Normal town probably too. I asked for a video and he ran off before I could ask if he's got an at. A true mystery. Oh my gosh. So this guy just dresses up with Waluigi. There he is. Take the shades off. Build suspense. <laughs> oh man, the video crapped out. You could tell by his stance, he's practiced this a lot at home. Like, I bet you if I looked at Waluigi right now, his feet are exactly pointed out like that. He's practiced all of this. This is his life's work. It's Waluigi time here at Walmart. <laughs> For absolutely no payoff, he's doing this. What is he looking at here? What is he looking at? Waluigi would not buy lettuce, right? He'd be buying chips, candy. He would not be buying lettuce and tomatoes at all. He takes his glasses off. Let me get ready. Waluigi time, you're at <laughs> <laughs> Then I can just picture him running him off like, dude, where's your, what's your social media handle? He's like, I don't care, Waluigi for life. Just pure commitment to character. I just love it. That's Chad, Topia. Sam Barksy, the man who knits sweaters at places and then visits them. Oh, that's boss, dude. He knits himself sweaters of places he's gonna go. And then he goes them. It's kind of, he goes to them. He's kind of like conquering stuff. You know, he's kind of saying, this is what I'm gonna conquer. I'm gonna go here, knits a sweater, puts it on, and goes. I love that, man. That is so Chad. This guy's ultra Chad, for sure. His sweater looks a little bit different than reality. It's like a different angle. This is like helicopter angle. Maybe he goes on a helicopter. That's his next thing. Man, this guy is Chad. He's got the fanny pack with three compartments. Holy smokes, man. Leave some women for the rest of... <laughs> oh, man. Man, loving it. Little update in my fitness update. journey. I've realized that I have two new abilities that I didn't used to have before. Superpower I'll abilities. Show you. One of them is getting up and down off the floor. No hands. Oh, that's cool. Right, right. Oh. I didn't used to be able to do that. You got down. Yeah, you How this. big was he before? Nice. See that? I am not gonna. I'm not gonna even come close to making fun of that because when you get older in life, it actually becomes harder to get off the off the floor, with, especially with no hands. Like just with your hands, you know, it's it's not easy as when you were young. See that? It's just not. It's just not. So you know, overweight or in shape or fit or not, you know, just getting up is hard. No hands. <laughs> and I like it's this like kind of easy. Good. I didn't used to be able to do that. Nice. And I've never been able to do a chin up or pull up of any sort. His dog is like, bro, you've been shooting uh, TikToks all day. Just, I want, I need to go outside. This guy, you, you can work out with your dog, you know, he's just not letting him outside. Now I can kind of sort of dangle. So he says this is a chin up. See, dangling. He says, I used to not be able to do chin ups, and then he just dangles. And like, I would, I don't, I'm not even sure that's a full second. Does that qualify, guys? He says, I used to be able to do chin ups. Here I am just dangling for, let's call it one second. Is that, is that relate? It's kind of like saying, I used to not be able to lift 400 pounds. Now I can lift up my grocery bag. And it's like, w w well, I mean, why'd you say the first thing? It's like, it's not super relevant. Great art though, dude. Even his art is in shape. You know, he's trying to aspire to be Gumby. See, dangling. It's See? the closest I've ever come. 
Even when I was a kid, I couldn't do monkey bar stuff. Oh. <laughs> so here we are in month four of calisthenics, and I'm really proud of myself, and I'm making really excellent progress. Good for this guy. I like this guy. Cheering him on. I think he's doing this to get people behind him, his, his fitness journey, and I am. You know, good for him. Keep going, bro. Calisthenics. I've heard that. I don't even know, know what that means. You can't do the chat face. You're female. What? What are you talking about? You can't do the chat face. You're female. Here she is. She's going to do the chat face. Oh. Oh. I mean, it's okay. I mean, she's conf- I like the confidence. Bo, bo, bo. <laughs> like, yeah, she doesn't care if this is accurate or not. She's doing the chat face and she's confident. That's what it's all about. Good for her. Good chat at Whatever she wants to be called. All right, so we got the Wolverine look alike. What's up with the face? What's up with the oh, face? Man. Your face. What do you mean? Your- What is that? It's my new look. Your new look? Who are you my trying to- What are you trying to be? He's got the chest Wolverine? the same too. Like the superhero Wolverine? Yeah, like the superhero. <laughs> You're an adult. You're not a kid. <laughs> No, Ooh. no, you need to change that. No. You gotta change. He's literally fulfilling this exact uh, Reddit subreddit. He's, you know, someone's challenging him hard, and he's like, I don't care. I literally don't care. I am who I want to be. I want to look like Wolverine right now for the next couple months. <laughs> and he's doing it. Change it. No, you look stupid. I'm not shaving my hair. Why? Because it's cool. Ooh. You got told, man. This guy's confident. He doesn't care what you have to say. One thing I am noticing here, I don't know what the average person has for pills in their kitchen, but this, the, we got a lot of pills going on here. Uh, is he taking pills to try to become Wolverine too? That's a, that's too far. Here. Why? Because it's cool. Ooh, the body language. Zoom no, in. it's not. You look like a <laughs> <laughs> Imagine just claws come out at that exact moment. That was awesome. This guy is very chat, ultra chat. I've said that a lot. This guy is sticking to his guns. This is what it's all about, people. If people challenge you because you're a little bit different, like a little bit different, just stand your ground. That's what it's all about. Just be who you are. Be you. In the grand scheme of things, all this guy has is a little bit of a different beard. Is that that different than other people? No, no, it's not. Just be yourself, people. September 9, 2018 versus September 9, 2019. There he is. There he is. He lost a lot of weight, kind of shape in uh, in one year. Wow. I like how he's happy in both. Yeah, he's happy being overweight, underweight. He don't care. Be happy in yourself. This is a feel good video, man. This guy's happy either way. He's at the same gym, doing his thing. He's in the same shirt, only without sleeves. He's pretty ripped. Actually, honestly, in one year to go from that to that, that's like a different person. He must be going every day. I'm happy for this guy. Oh gosh. Um, was at my friend's house in middle school. We needed refreshments, but his parents didn't want to drive anywhere. We walked 40 minutes each way to get six Mountain Dews. Is this worth, what is that, an hour and 20 minutes to get six Mountain Dews? Like, you'd almost spend more calories walking for an hour and 20 minutes than you would getting refreshed by the Mountain Dew, right? No? No, Mountain Dew still worth it. Mountain Dew was good, especially back then. There was, like, less choices, less options. Mountain Dew was the go-to. Yeah, man, he don't care that he saw all the girls in his grade saw him. There's probably people in here that he knows. He's like, I don't care. Getting Mountain Dew. Love it, man. This man is playing two-player dancing games at 2 a.m. So it's Dance Dance Revolution, I think. He's playing two of them. Well, he, imagine he was just doing terrible. No, he's doing well. Why is that one? Is he playing against himself? Look, he's got the gloves. This guy's committed. So Chad, he don't care. Great, perfect, perfect. He's getting perfect. That would be the most challenging thing. You know what you would sweat after doing that? No wonder he's skinny. This guy is in shape too. That is a workout. Look at the freaking screen. Look at the screen. Look at the freaking screen. You know how hard that is? Perfect. Is that real? Send this guy to the Olympics. There's five buttons times two. There's 10 buttons to constantly press with two feet. Man, and he doesn't care if people, all the chicks are flocking to him, watching, recording him. He doesn't care. He's doing his thing. That's the key to life. Okay, so these people have a regular house on the bottom. They got, you know, the two cars, woman, his and hers, you know, nice house, nice neighborhood, green grass. They keep it trimmed, you know, nice little front area. And then they put a castle on top. Is it a spiral staircase? If this is real, uh, these people do not give a heck about what the other people in their neighborhood are doing. They are just going to put a castle on their second level. The kid would have to sleep there, right? That's for kids, right? Right? It's not for him, is it? Some people just don't care about neighborhood standards. No way he just did that. So he's at the carnival, he leans back, he gets on there. That is extremely smooth. And he comes off. Oh my, and he's facing, how did he face the other way? Wait a sec, he was facing one way. He just leans back. How do you not break your foot? He doesn't care. You know, he's like, you know what? I'm a carnival guy and I am embracing it because I love it. This subreddit makes you feel like you should be embracing life more. Like whatever you're doing in life, just freaking embrace it. Just go for it. You know, that's like, just give 110% to whatever you're doing. That's what this tells you to do. Who cares what other people think about you? This is a feel good moment. This kid is going places, baseball, nails it. That's a dinger. Boom. Throws his bat. 
<laughs> doesn't care. This embraces it, right? Booyah. Love it. Look at this horse. This horse is just embracing being a horse. Look at him. He's like, yeah. what else am I? I am a freaking horse. That is huge. Yeah, he took the objective of being a horse. Okay, so this guy is replying to someone's account that says joke 14. His username is literally a joke. And he's saying, you pull all the girls. I would imagine he's joking. I don't know. This actually does not help me pull girls. This makes the girls run away from me. Is he like pressing the buttons on this device as he's like interviewing the camera? Like, you know, pick one thing, bro. We're trying to listen. But the thing is, I don't care about that because I'm happy with the way I look and how I dress. So yeah. I don't care if I won't get any girls. Yeah, thank you for trying to make me feel better, but it's just the hard truth. You gotta sacrifice one, wow, and deep. I sacrifice the girls. Smart. Playing the long game. I think he knows that this guy's like pulling his leg. You get up, you pull all the girls. But he's playing, you know, he's embracing and he's going with it. That's awesome. All right, so there you have it, guys. Uh, cringe, uh, not cringe. Chadtopia, it's a Reddit, subreddit. Uh, really cool. Honestly, it makes you feel kind of good. People that, uh, or whatever reason, are embracing exactly what they're doing uh, full on. And it kind of feels good for them. You know, that's kind of cool. It kind of inspires you to do whatever you're doing more. So, uh, yeah, drop a thumbs up if you're still here. And I uh, will see you guys in the next one.